In this video, we are going to discuss how to represent negative roots on the number line. The method of representing negative roots is same as that of positive roots. The only difference is that the negative numbers are on the left side of zero. So we have to move in the opposite direction in this case. Let's start with the simplest number minus root 2. Just as we have done for root 2, we have to find out two numbers, sum of whose squares is equal to 2 or a number less than 2. So we have 1 square plus 1 square equal to 2, that is root 2 square. This means we have to construct a right triangle whose sides are 1 and 1. And so by Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse will be root 2. So we'll start by constructing a number line. Make sure that you mark points at equal distances on the number line. I'm marking points at 2 cm distance. You may take 1 inch also. Putting arrows on either sides because it's a line. Now as the number we are representing here is a negative number, it will lie to the left of 0. So we will show mostly the negative side of the number line. Let's mark this point as 1 then 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. Can you tell what is the distance of any point on the number line from the origin? This distance is given by the absolute value of the point located there. Like the distance of minus 1 from origin will be absolute value of minus 1, which is 1. So going one unit from origin to the left side, we reach the point minus 1. So OA is equal to one unit. And now we will draw the perpendicular at this point. You may use a protector or compass for this. I'm keeping my protector at this point, aligning it with the line and marking the point for 90 degree. And so we get the line segment perpendicular to this point. Take care that this perpendicular should be longer than the second number which we have chosen. That is one unit. What do we do next? We take one unit as the radius on our compass, keep its tip on point A and cut an arc on this perpendicular. Let's mark this point as B. So AB is the second side of the triangle. Joining B to O, we get the hypotenuse whose length will be equal to root 2. Now to find the position of minus root 2 on the number line, we will take this distance as the radius on our compass and center at O. As it is a negative number, we will cut an arc to the left of O and so moving our compass downwards, we get the point of intersection C. As this point is at a distance of root 2 to the left of origin, it is the position of minus root 2. So you can see that it is just like root 2 but the direction has reversed. Now that minus root 2 is ready, we can further use it to represent minus root 3. Just like the steps we followed for root 3, root 2 square plus 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 equal to 3 which is root 3 square. So now we have to construct a triangle with one side root 2 and other side 1. We already have the length root 2 on the number line that is OC. So next we will draw the perpendicular at point C. So quickly use your protector or compass as you wish and complete it. The length of this perpendicular should be greater than the second side that is one unit. Now we have to take one unit distance as radius on our compass, center at point C and cut an arc intersecting this perpendicular at point D. Join O to D and this length is equal to root 3 as per our calculation. So we will take this as radius on our compass and center at O and draw an arc downwards intersecting the number line on the left side of origin and as it is the left side this point will be represented by minus root 3. So I hope it is clear how to represent negative roots on the number line. You can follow these steps for minus root 5, minus root 6 etc easily. Try them out. If you want to check out other videos on this topic, you may click on this link. And if you like my videos, please give a thumbs up.
and don't forget to subscribe that's all for today take care and goodbye